Good morning friends, my name's Ted and it's great to join you for morning prayer here at Holy Trinity Anglican Church in Brisbane's Fortitude Valley. The night has passed and the day lies open before us, so before we do anything else, let's pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence as revealed in your word, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. If you haven't done today's readings yet, now is an excellent time to do so. Go on, take all the time you need. We'll be here when you get back. Our verse for today comes from our first lesson. Amos chapter 4 verse 13. He who forms the mountains, who creates the wind, and who reveals his thoughts to mankind, who turns dawn to darkness and treads on the heights of the earth, the Lord God Almighty is his name. Let's pray. Holy God, through your beloved Son, you reconciled all things to yourself, making peace by the blood of his cross. Fill us and those for whom we pray with your peace and joy, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Fixing the world can seem a big task. Note that I say it can seem like a big task. Fixing the world is, in fact, quite simple. Not that a cursory scan across today's two readings might suggest so. In Amos, God is talking about the weather. Now, who can do much about that? And in our second, we are reading more of St Paul's letters, the great apostle to the Gentiles, the man who quite possibly did the most out of anyone to spread the gospel around the world. But look again and read who St Paul is writing to. To all in Rome who are loved by God and called to be saints. You may not be in Rome, but aren't you loved by God? And aren't you called to be a saint? As we stand here in our time and in our place, at a turning point in history, where we are looking at turning away from God's displeasure and building the cathedral of the kingdom of heaven, armed with our sword and our trowel, aren't we fixing the world? Loved by God and called to be saints. This isn't a light and fluffy phrase thrown around to make us feel good. It is an awesome statement, awesome in the true sense of the term. This awesome God who loves us is the same awesome God we are praying to come and work a miracle in our society. As we study our Bibles, pray and live faithfully, we are calling down blessings upon us and our families from an awesome and mighty God. Prepare to meet your God and prepare with loving faithfulness. He is coming and he will not delay. He who forms the mountains, creates the wind and reveals his thoughts to man. He who turns dawn to darkness and treads the high places of the earth. The Lord God Almighty is his name. What are you doing to build the kingdom? And what is God doing to build his kingdom? Let's pray. Lord God Almighty, prepare my heart so that I may meet you in all your peace and grace. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for joining me today, friends. We'll see you again tomorrow. And in the meantime, peace be to us all and love with faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh,